Welcome. In this video, we're going to have a look at some more advanced techniques of simplification of algebraic fractions. So in this video, I'm going to do three different examples showcasing how we can simplify algebraic fractions. Now, example one here, we have minus 4b all squared all over 2b. We want to simplify this out into its simplest form. Now, to do this, uh, first thing we need to do is we need to deal with this squared symbol up here. So what does the squared symbol mean? Well, it means that it's a repeat of whatever's inside the brackets. So we've got this minus, minus 2 minus 4b. And there's a second one, minus 4b, because it's squared. And that's still all over. Now, evaluating these two brackets upstairs in the numerator, we're going to get uh, minus 4 multiplied by minus 4 times b times b. And downstairs we have... Now, in the last video, I told you that we want to break everything down into its primes. But sometimes, sometimes if we have a little bit of foresight, we know that that's not going to be the optimal route. But rather, we can see that we're dealing with a... 2 over here, and we're dealing with a b over here. And we can already see upstairs in the numerator there's a single b, and we know that there's eventually going to be a 2 either here, or we can get it from over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shortcut, and I'm only going to factorize this first 4 over here. Now what that's going to look like is we're going to get a... 2 times negative 2, so that's our purple, that's our minus 4 factors right there, and then I'm just going to not worry about factorizing the second minus 4, and just say it's minus 4 times b times b, then down here we have 2 times b. Now cancelling out, well we don't need, we've got 2 here, 2 here, b here, and a b here, and then I can rewrite this. So we get minus 2 times minus 4 times b, and that's all over, ooh, it's all over 1, that's convenient. Now because it's all over 1, we don't have to worry about, worry about it being a fraction, and all we need to do is evaluate the numerator. So it's minus 2 times minus 4 times b, that simplifies that to be, well, 2 times 4 is 8, and it's a double negative, so it becomes positive 8, so 8b. So that's how we simplify the first one. We deal with this squared by repeating the, the factor that's been squared. And then we look a, look a little bit into the future, and we ask ourselves, what do we really need to factorize? Because we don't want to do more work than we actually need to. And in that case, we only have to factorize one of the 4s. Uh, then we cancel out the 2 and the b's, and then we just put it all back together. So nothing to it. All right, example 2. We have 18 over 3 times c minus 1. So what we can see here, well, let's think about, let's think a little bit forward and ask ourselves what could we potentially factorize here. And what we can see is that, well, we're definitely not going to be able to factorize the c minus 1 here because there's nothing in the numerator that could be cancelled out by that. Rather, what we're going to be dealing with is the 18 and the 3. So we need to ask ourselves, let's take a shortcut, and we say, does 3 divide into 18? And the answer is yes, it does. It goes 3 times 6. So 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 6 is 18. And therefore, downstairs we have 3 and c minus 1. Now we look what is common between the two. We have 1, 3 here and 1, 3 there. So what's going to happen is the 3s are going to disappear and we're going to be left with a 6 over c minus 1 with the brackets. And because it's all contained, we can rewrite it as c minus 1. So this line here and this line here, they're both correct. 
doesn't matter how you write it. This um, this way here is just a little bit more concise because there's no brackets. So that's example two done, nice and easy. Now let's look at example three. A little bit more involved here. We've got a three times a x plus four squared all over x plus four. So what are we going to do here? Looking ahead, we ask ourselves, is this three going to cancel out with anything? And if we look downstairs, well, there's nothing in the denominator here that matches with this three. So that's not going to be an option, but rather we've got a x plus four here and we've got an x plus four here. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll open up this squared first and then we'll deal with the, the any potential cancelling out. So we'll go 3, x plus 4, then x plus 4 because that's a repeated term. Now downstairs we have x plus 4. Now having a look at it, we have x plus 4 right here and then we've got another one here. Now what we can do is we can actually cancel these out simply, simply by putting brackets over the x plus 4 in the denominator there. And what that means we can do is we can say goodbye and we can say goodbye. Writing that out, we ignore what we had highlighted in green. That's all over 1 and therefore it simplifies out to be x plus 4.